Hey, 12, when do you... We're going to be showing you guys how to do an LSD effect by using EV Synth and a little bit of After Effects Black Magic. So that being said, let's get into it. All right, so like all of my other EV Synth videos, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring it into After Effects. Drop the clip in here, select the small section that you need, click Control M, and down here where it says Lossless, you're going to click that, change it from AVI down to PNG Sequence, export from there into the folder of your choice, have it all sequential, and done. No, really, that's it's the same thing for every other EV Synth video I've ever done, so no sense in going over everything else. From there, you're gonna go in here, find your key fold, keyframe. I'm gonna release a video on specifically how to select your keyframes. It's something you need to figure out how to do, and I figured out it's kind of my favorite ways to do it in my best ways. But regardless from that, that video's gonna be coming out in the next couple weeks. For that, for this one, we're gonna be using keyframe number 412. So, bada bing, bada boom, right there's the keyframe that we're using. We're gonna bring that to the Deep Dream Generator like every other thing, and you can see my six different attempts with this one. I have really tried to narrow down an effect that I really like for this, for this LSD look. I think I found something that I really like for this. So we're going to come over here to generate. We're going to click Deep Dream. We're going to upload an image. So it's going to be number 412. So let's just scroll down here real quick and get all the way down to 412. Open that guy up. And we're going to come over here to our settings. We're going to come down here. Here's where it's going to get a little more complicated. Usually I would just leave the default settings, but I don't want to do that for this one. So what we're going to go through is Enhance, and we're going to bring that down to Low. Resolution, bring that up to HD like we usually do. And Inception Depth, what we're going to do is we're going to bring that down to Shallow. Essentially, that's how deep the Jeep Dream goes. So for this one, we want to most, we want to keep the shape of our hand, but we don't want to like distort it all too much. So shallow, and here's where you get to have a little more fun. You get to test this out with your different dream types. So if you keep default, you can select any of these other different layers that you can create to make it look like. I didn't want any of those. I went through spirits, neuron, neuron. Oh, that actually is how you say that, neuron. Oh, okay, I thought it was neutron. So you can do Spirits, Neutron, Valerian, or use your own. I personally like the Neuron look. So from there, you can test these out, change them however you like them. But these are the settings that I liked. And then we're going to generate. All right, and after you have that finished, this is what it's going to look like for my settings in my photo. From that point, you're going to make a folder and name it Keys, like I already have one here. And you're going to drag and drop that photo in here, and you're going to rename it to that keyframe. So for this original one, it was keyframe number 412. You just rename it to 412, and you're good from there. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your photo, you're gonna right click it, go to properties, and you're gonna see exactly how big it is. Because EVSynth needs them to be the exact same size. So for this one, it's gonna be 1333 by 750. So we're gonna go back into After Effects, we're gonna go to our comp, and we're going to right click, since it's this one, composition settings, we're gonna change it to 1333, and it's automatically gonna do 750. Bada bing, and it's too big. We're gonna lower that down just a wee bit. Make it where it's just barely fitting in the frame. There we go, 35%, Control M. And same as before, export as a PNG image because we're going to need it to be the exact same size. And from there, you should have two different folders. You should have one of the full size keyframes, which is going to be forever to load. And then you should have one with the smaller size keyframes, the 1333 by 750. So from there, you're just going to drag the video folder on there and the keys folder on there. And like every other, every other one of EV Synth, you're just going to click keyframe. It's going to be keyframe 412. The starting keyframe was 176, so we're going to use 176. And the final one is. 953 so 953 the output folder is just the regular output folder and for this one i don't really want to change anything when it comes to the style weight so we're just going to synth from there and we're waiting some more there's a lot of waiting with this one eternity later so after that's done rendering here's what we're going to get so that we're going to have this output folder this trippy lsd type effect with us moving through there so like with our other ev synth videos we've done we're going to just go into premiere pro we're going to drag and drop this entire folder, just the whole output folder, into Premiere. So let's drop that in there, wait for it to import all the files, and this is where we get to have some more fun. All right, from there, you're gonna go to the folder, select all, and click this nice little button down here that's automate to sequence. Pretty much everything else can stay the same. Change from still clip duration from in and out range to frames per still, and change that to one frame per second. Click OK, and it's going to drag and drop the entire thing in there. Just select them all, click nest, click OK, and then scale them up. Typically, if you're using a 1080p thing, you don't have to scale up this much, but I have a 4K profile right here, so it's I'm gonna scale up a little bit more. All right, and here's what it looks like from there. Looks pretty cool so far. I'm gonna take this a step further. I'm going to take the original video that we had here, we're gonna select all, and we're gonna automate that one to sequence as well. So we're gonna have the exact same in and out that we had before. Select that all, nest that as well. 
So scale down up to 300. And we're going to overlap them. Make sure they're exactly over each other. And from your LSD one, you're going to change the opacity of that one down to, eh, let's say about 50% takes the tone down just a little bit more, adds a little bit of a, a blurriness to it. And here we're gonna take it a step further. Right click the nest with the LSD effect, replace with After Effects composition. It's gonna open it again in After Effects. And after it opens up in After Effects, it's gonna drop every one of these PNG files into this composition and put it in its nice own little nested pre-comp thing. Uh, if you have a lot of effects that you're gonna be doing this with, a lot of clips, make sure you start foldering these and putting them into their own bins because it's gonna get messy really fast. But from there we have this, well, it's, see-through, it's transparent. Can't really see a whole lot from it, but that's kind of what we want. In the effects and preset panel, we're gonna come over to blur and we're gonna get radial blur. Now, after you drop it on there, raise the amount to, let's just say two. You don't really have to change anything else. It's all to flavor at that point. But from there, I'm also gonna do the drop down menu over here, go to transform, hold your alt key and on position, click the stopwatch. And it's gonna bring up your expression panel. Type in wiggle and it's gonna pop up the wiggle effect. Now here's where it gets really fun. Expressions are some of the most fun things you can do in After Effects here. So the wiggle effect, and the first number you're gonna type in is the effects per second, and the second one is gonna be how much it moves. So for the wiggle effect, let's say we do 50 comma one. It's gonna move one pixel 50 times in one second. That's gonna be a little too overkill, but I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like here. It's just this really shaky, like moving around thing, but going a little bit different from there. I'm gonna lower that down from 50 down to about 10, I, only, I don't want them to move a whole lot, maybe 15 actually, and then two pixels. So not a really big change, not a big change at all. Just enough that it moves it just a little bit more than we want. We're gonna click save from there. We're gonna go back to Premiere and it's gonna show us our finished effect here. And you can see on our finished effect, it has a bit of a radial blur to it. It adds this little bit of a blurredness to it and it adds a little bit of shaking, a visual shake to it. And from what I've been talking to people online, when I've been speaking to people about this, that's kind of what it looks like. And that's kind of like a uh, way that this can look. LSD affects everybody differently. You see different things, everything changes differently for each people, for each person. So that's about the closest approximation I can get. Um, if you've ever done LSD, you can probably do this a little bit better than I can. And that's how you make an LSD effect by using After Effects, EV Synth, and a little bit more black magic thrown into there. So if you enjoyed this video, right up here is a list of different tutorials we have at EV Synth. And right over here is a video that YouTube says you're gonna enjoy. I don't know what's in there, so good luck with that. So that being said, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.